okay. Okay. I see you. See that? This don't. We don't need this any that. Let's talk about it. Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? I never thought I would get to say this in a complete sentence, but this is the CEO treatment of Zack Snyder's Justice League. So in 2017, Zack Snyder had to step away from the post-production of this film due to the tragic passing of his daughter. So somewhere in between Zack Snyder leaving the project and or Warner Brothers just not wanting a four hour film being released, we never got to see this version of the movie. And in that, we were left with that version. And we all know how that went. And now, three and a half years later, thanks to HBO Max, we finally have it. And there, ladies and gentlemen, we have our movie. So what did I like? This film legitimately shattered my expectations. But let me say they were low to begin with because of the 2017 version, but they still shattered my expectations nonetheless. Everything about this film, from the heroes to the villains and everything else in between, is just hands and foot better than what we got in 2017. So I hated the first film. Hate is, yes, a very strong word, but that is the only word to describe how I feel about the first Justice League movie. That film gave us little to absolutely no character development while trying to introduce to us Flash, Cyborg, and Aquaman. Zack Snyder's version, on the other hand, while it is four hours long, it dares to be bold and it works. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. In the DC version, I hated Cyborg. In this version, he's my absolute favorite character. DC's version was the Sunny Water because it left the worst taste in your mouth. Zack Snyder's version is Mountain Valley Springs. All the heroes are beautifully utilized in this film. Flash has all the moments of greatness in this film because he was a wuss in the first one. I stand by that wholeheartedly. Steppenwolf's character arc and just overall design period was so much better in this film because I never want to see that again. Like ever. And we finally got Darkseid. Like, was it really that hard to put him in the film? Like, was it? But easily the best thing about this film is the fact it's on HBO Max. While I did watch the majority of this film in one sitting, it is nice to know that if you want to break this movie up into three or four parts, you can totally do that. Now flipping over to the other side, what didn't I like? This film is heavy on dialogue in some portions, so splitting this film up for some of you just may be... It may be best. Again, this movie is four hours. This movie is an hour longer than Avengers Endgame. Let that sink in. Also, the epilogue of this film, I felt like that could have been cleaned up just a little bit. While it was dope seeing these stories wrap up and being potentially introduced to new ones, the Martian Manhunter part just felt a little off to me. Read reports that it was supposed to be Green Lantern potentially, but that scene just felt just slightly forced to me. And Jared Leto's Joker, while this is his best Joker performance in my opinion, I'm still not fully sold on him as the Joker. Am I the only one? But overall, this film is sensational. There's no other way to put it. While it is the same story, it's nowhere near the same movie. Yeah, this film is four hours, but it's also on HBO Max, so view it how you want. But all in all, I walked out of Zack Snyder's Justice League definitely satisfied. Ayy. So if you guys seen Zack Snyder's Justice League, or plan to, or how many days did it actually take you to watch this film? If so, drop a comment below. Got an idea? Let me know. I look forward to doing more of these in the future. Peace out.